Hello friends, hope you all are well. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about PRV means pressure release valve, in which first we see about why PRV is required in transformers. Then we talk about how is PRV constructed. And lastly, we see how does PRV is functioning in transformer. So let's first start with why PRV is required in the transformer. As we all know, inside the transformer, the insulation oil is used. And it used to provide insulation and cooling to the winding of the transformer. But if by chance the fault occurs in the winding and core, it will lead to the oxidation of insulation oil as you see here. And due to that it will produce a very high amount of gas inside the transformer tank. And if we have not used PRV in the transformer, then pressure build up inside the tank and tank will rupture. And gas out from any weak point of the transformer as you see here. Due to this situation, it will lead to loss of equipment with huge economic loss to the company. So to prevent such type of incident, PRV is always used in transformer. Now let's talk about how PRV is constructed. So as you see here, this is how one hole is made on top of the transformer tank. Then base plate is mounted like this, with the help of bolt. After that, gasket is placed. Then one flange is mounted. And it is connected with the disc as you see. So in normal condition disc is always in close condition due to this spring tension. So this spring always provide pressure on disc. So disc kept connected with the flange as you see here. After that, top mountain plate is installed. Then finally flag and limit switch is installed. So this the how PRV is constructed. Now suppose, in normal conditions, this spring tension is high on the disc. So due to that disc maintain contact with the flange and is kept in close condition. But if a fault occurs inside the tank, and pressure got built up inside, then whenever the amount of pressure inside the tank is greater than this spring pressure, disc moved upside and the spring went to compress as you see here. And due to that flange and disc apart and the valve got open. Hence all pressurized energy get out from the tank. And it will prevent the tank from rapture. Now suppose the tank pressure got reduced. Then this disc automatically got close due to this spring pressure being greater than tank inside pressure. Now suppose this PRV got operate. And due to that, this flag got moved like this and it will operate limit switch. So as limit switch got operate then the contact inside the switch also got changed as you see here. So it will trip the transformer and disconnect it from the upstream and downstream. And this is the how PRV is work on transformer. So friends, if you learn something from this video, then please reward us by sharing this video with needful people and by subscribing the channel.